When the guns fell silent in northern Uganda after decades of the LRA insurgency 20 years ago, a new fight emerged. A fight against poverty that plagued the region as a result of insecurity and trauma, leaving behind a broken down social and economic fabric that once defined this region's livelihoods. To bring the region up to speed and on the road to recovery, the government has over the years initiated several programs with one of the recent being Development Initiative for Northern Uganda, also known as DINU. DINU's mission is to consolidate stability, eradicate poverty and undernutrition and foster sustainable socio-economic development. All these efforts are supported by the European Union and supervised by the Office of the Prime Minister across three key sectors. Infrastructure that includes transport, logistics, water and energy, food security, nutrition and livelihoods and good governance. Dino reached far and Dino reached many across all of northern Uganda from West Nile to Acholi and Languan, Teso and Karamoja. This is thanks to the dedication and willingness of all partners involved, including the government, local authorities, implementing partners, and of course the people of northern Uganda. For the last six years, there has been tremendous progress on its objectives, which include increase food security, improve maternal and child nutrition, enhance household incomes and empower women. Two, boost trade of commodities regionally and internationally through improved transport infrastructure and three, strengthen governance structures, promote gender responsive governance and empower communities for enhanced local service delivery. In order to boost trade of commodities regionally and internationally, the program undertook key projects targeting logistical networks facilitation of efficient transport and address critical water and energy requirements. The Gulu Logistics Hub, a comprehensive facility aimed at facilitating the seamless movement of goods and services spanning 27 acres, this expansive logistics hub is designed to invigorate business and trade both within the region and with neighboring countries. In Lamo, 25 villages are basking in joy for the first time. They are enjoying the benefits of power. In June 2022, the Government of Uganda, under the Development Initiative for Northern Uganda, commissioned solar mini grids. These grids have combined capacity of 1 megawatt that can supply 12,200 people through grid like clean energy electricity service. Today, Villages and town centers are lit, with lights and nightlife visible as young people park gadgets to earn a living. Nowadays, we are okay now with the power and very many things we are affording here now because of power that we are having now. This once impassable road is now first class bitumen road, runs from Atiak at the junction of Gulu Atiak Nimule Highway, traversing through Zaipi and Bakele trading centers, and ends up at the docking site on Albert Nile. Upgrading of this 65 km road by the government commenced in March 2020 with a 16.3 billion shillings fund from European Union. The Atiak Ajumani Road. This has been a very, very bad uh, road, especially when it rained. Large trucks would be there on that road for, for days and weeks because of the bad status. Us who move in small vehicles between Gulu and Ajumani would take three hours. Now I take one hour. On the other side of the Nile in Zombo, the DINU program mobilized and provided training to farmers in improved agriculture practices. Nowadays, farmers no longer plant Irish potatoes haphazardly. They have gained an understanding of the importance of proper spacing during planting. It is these basic skills that have enabled them to achieve abundant harvests. At the moment, production has improved 
due to the knowledge we got from Aleno, at least people are using technology, new technology of production. Over the years, the 5,000 residents in Adibo and Arafa sub-counties in Yumbe district relied exclusively on four water boreholes. Even then, these few boreholes were far away and residents had to trek for hours to access them. Today, water stress and scarcity is a story in the past. Now because the water came and they're tapping water within their homesteads, within the homesteads, that means the time you would spend, if you would spend like 30 to 45 minutes to go and fetch water in 5 kilometers, this has reduced to, 20, let's say, uh, 5 minutes or 10. To enhance the capabilities of young individuals, the initiative enrolled and connected 13,000 youths with more than eight technical vocational education training institutes. The Dino Youth Skilling Program focused on equipping young people with expertise in poultry production, tree planting and nursery management and vegetable production. The youth have since moved on after graduating with startup kits. I'm self-employed because I can get money, I can buy like my clothes, I can do a lot of things. In the serene expanse of acacia trees, bee farmers often found themselves with an abundance of honey. Today, the district produces pure honey following the establishment of the Honey Processing Center by Dinu and the installation of a processing machine at Amudat district headquarters. Following farmer training on enhanced food production and post-harvest handling, Dinu found it appropriate to establish bulking centers such as the one in Oyam. We used to go to the shops to buy seeds individually. But now, with this um, intervention, farmers having brought their produce together, or when they want to go out to, to, to procure seeds, when they go out together, there's always uh, a bargaining power and a marketing power within the farmers. Livestock farmers in Amuria district used to sell their animals under tree sheds with limited facilities. Now, thanks to Dinu's support and the construction of a livestock market, farmers have a well-built enclosure that provides them with enhanced interactions with buyers. When you go to the Amuria market, because of the way Dinu has constructed it and put everything in their compartments, it is now very easy for people to agree that this will be the price of livestock today. In an effort to bolster the capacity of gender responsive governance, the rule of law and the empowerment of communities for enhanced local service delivery, DINU enhanced community involvement and governance structures. One of the initiatives involved holding barazas where residents were encouraged to express their opinions. The barazas have built the confidence in the people that they can now report on what they see on the ground. So many cases of mismanagement of public funds have come up. We have been able to uh, bring uh, so many leaders of PDCs on our table and in extreme cases we have even arrested them. The DINU program swiftly took action to contribute to peace in Karamoja by constructing police posts in Amudat, Abim, Kalenga, Kotido, Moroto, Nakaperipit and Napak. We have so far 63 staff housing units and the seven police stations. On top of the seven that we had under KIDPP plus what was existing, so we are already there, that is one benefit. Two, it has also upped the morale of our personnel to work. Because Karamoja now is no longer that hard to stay and hard to reach. Continuing its commitment to good governance, in 2020, DINU introduced the District Integrated Revenue Administrative System in the inaugural year of implementing this system in Zombo, revenue collections surged from 191 to 890 million shillings. 
Currently, the system aids the district to collect revenue worth 1 billion Ugandan shillings. This revenue has enabled us to perform our roles as a district in a better way. It has also assisted us in planning on what to do and also solving the urgent issues affecting us. I really want to thank uh, the development partners, the EU countries, which have supported the development process in northern Uganda. I want to say this should not be the end. EU support does not end with the DINU program. The EU continues to support the Ugandan people nationwide, including in northern Uganda. I would like to thank our partners, including European Union. I would like to thank the Minister of Finance, the district local governments, and the DINU Project Management Unit for work well done.